creativity in the cloud to big data marketing. Adobe is changing the world through digital experience. But will innovation and partnerships make this stock the image of excellence? Or will it get lost in the crowd? Now that we're firmly in the fourth quarter, you need to keep track of what's been working because these are the stocks that money managers tend to anoint as winners. And then they pile into them as we approach the end of the year. Take Adobe Systems, the maker of digital media and marketing software that's been transforming itself into an amazing cloud computing play. Roughly a year ago, I told you that Adobe wasn't getting nearly enough credit for the growth it was generating. Since then, the stock's given you a gain of more than 20%. It's deserved. It. Some of that strength is, is really it's part of the most recent quarter, which they reported a couple of weeks ago. Company knocked it out of the park. Nice top and bottom line beat. Some terrific guidance, hence why the stock jumped 7% in a single day on the news. Can it keep climbing? Let's check in with Shantanu Narayan. He's the president and CEO of Adobe Systems. Find out more about his company and what it's up to. Mr. Narayan, welcome back to Mad Money. Thanks for having me here, Jim. Welcome uh, to San Francisco. Thank you. We have spent the week learning about artificial intelligence, learning about machine learning. And we've learned about how predictive analytics matter. Adobe's do, using all of them right now. Well, we process more content and more data than anybody else uh, in terms of companies. And you're absolutely right. The magic you have in Photoshop uh, and what people can do, we are actually looking into people's minds and figuring out how to translate that idea into reality. Or on the digital marketing side, uh, as you have mentioned on your shows, we process over 20 trillion transactions a quarter. And it's not about collecting that data. It's about making that actionable and predictive. Uh, we haven't named it, but that doesn't mean we haven't been the pioneer in it. Well, let's talk about digital media because it's accelerating. You know, you're not a, a company that's a startup. I typically don't see that level of acceleration, except for a company that may be one or two years old. What happened to make it so that it, it's hitting on all cylinders? I think we did a good job, Jim, of reimagining the creative process. And if you think about what's happening maybe with the Olympics, where people are view watching all of that right. on devices, that video, we're powering that. Uh, when you think about what's happening with uh, AI or augmented reality right. and virtual reality and video everywhere, you know, we're the company that's powering all of that content creation. Right. And I think we attracted a whole bunch of new customers to the platform. We completely changed the paradigm of how we can innovate rather than 12 or 18-month cycles, attractive upfront pricing, but fundamentally more innovation. And when you drive innovation on a consistent basis, I think the rest takes care of itself. Well, let's go back to Rio, because what happened with Rio is, is that you could watch exactly what you want. I mean, very, very competitive versus television. And that was all Adobe without necessarily knowing that we were watching Adobe. Well, CNBC and NBC yeah. and Comcast have been great partners in that. And you're right. I think the expectation that consumers have is that they can watch anything that's happening in the Olympics, wherever they are, and enabling the entire world to watch video in a personalized way. Uh, we're happy to be uh, the engine that powers that technology. You talk a lot about uh, personal channels. Uh, you were well ahead on this, too. Well, you know, I think there are a couple of macro themes that we've used to reinvent the company. Okay. The first one was design. And, you know, the world of design is changing. Aesthetics is becoming even more important. So are we enabling people who have a story to tell to tell that story? Right. And the second is digital experiences. Um, when you go, if you're booking a flight, whether you're staying in a new kind of place, whether you're going into an uh, entertainment area, you know, it's all about that experience. And you expect that experience to be personalized for you based on your history, your knowledge. If we can enable every business to do that on behalf of their customers, that's a really powerful tailwind and for yeah, our I, business. At the same time, I, I guess, Andrew, you know, we've talked about my daughter is the one who explained me Photoshop. I thought that she was a, she is a genius, of course, because she's my daughter, but she's using you. But I see this push on students and education. You're getting people early to understand Adobe. And that seems like, for, even if you just go to your website, that's a new emphasis for you. Well, I think it's crazy in this day and age that students, whether you're K through 12, or whether you're in higher education, uh, put in project reports that are text and boring. Why doesn't it have video in it? Why isn't it interactive? And I think if we can enable people to express their story in a more creative way, that's a really uh, powerful thing. Adobe has always been also very interested in making sure that we make it accessible 
for these particular students because anybody who grows up today without access to digital literacy, I think they're disadvantaged. And so in addition to delivering great products, I think the company has been really well known for what we do in CSR with respect to making it accessible for people. And yet you still never lost the touch of the PDF. And it looks like there's still, it's really, there's still people using inefficient paper. There are billions of PDFs that are created every day, and it's because people want to automate those inefficient paper-based processes. Adobe Sign, which is one of the ways in which we can actually finish that last mile, where instead of having a physical signature, you can actually electronically sign it, has been like, one of the growing I love that. businesses that's you. for us. Exactly. And so I, I, I think constantly thinking about how we're creating markets and not following others is, I think, what fuels the company. Yeah, well, you're always one step ahead of everybody, but you remain as humble as any success. Maybe one of the most humble companies and, of course, a humble CEO, but you've done a remarkable job, and it's a great stock, too. That's Shantanu Narayan, CEO of Adobe, a stock that we have just loved and I think goes higher. May have money's back in for the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.